Hi, this is Brian O'Kyra. I want to go through a case I had this week. I had a patient come in who has gone through physical therapy, has gone through chiropractic, who's gone through pain management, and has already seen their primary care doctor. They had a very clear-cut diagnosis when I looked at their x-ray and looked at their MRI. Uh, they had cervical spondylosis. They had degeneration at multiple levels. Uh, they had some disc protrusion and foraminal stenosis. So there's no question they had a cervical component to the radiculopathy. But she came in and said she has numbness and tingling sending down in the fourth and fifth digit. Uh, it was made worse with several activities, but, but one little... Uh, key was that when she was putting her arm up in this position, it was making symptoms worse. And if it's making symptoms worse when you're bringing your arm up here, uh, I'm tending to lean more towards a peripheral neuropathy as compared to more of a radiculopathy coming from the neck. Uh, and the reason is because of arm abduction sign test, is when you put your arm up here with a cervical radiculopathy, it feels better. You're taking tension off the brachial plexus, you're taking them off the nerve roots, and it makes it feel uh, better as far as that numbness or tingling or, or pain or whatever those symptoms the patient might have. But when they have a uh, thoracic outlet syndrome and they have numbness and tingling sending into the fourth fifth digit, they bring their arm up. That looks an awful lot like more of an absence test or a modified absence test. I can go through and do my brachial, uh, uh, brachial plexus compression test pushing into that area, and if that elicits symptoms, I can move into my rights, my hyperabduction sign, I can move into my claustro maneuver, maneuver, and also AdSense. So now I can start to differentiate where that peripheral neuropathy is coming from, I can stop wasting time with treating uh, only one spot, maybe just the neck or maybe just the arm, I can treat only the most appropriate structures and, and get this person out of pain, and then teach them what's causing their problem, with, whether it's uh, using a backpack or workstation ergonomics or the way they sleep, and hopefully get this person out of pain and then keep them out of pain.